Hi, welcome to British Ants. Uh, here we're doing a very simple, quick setup of one of our former care rooms. Uh, we've done it as a uh, voiceover, so you don't have to uh, hear me effing and jeffing. Uh, here we're just applying, uh, we've taken the, the lid off, and we're just applying a little bit of um, anti slip, uh, a small amount on a clean surface. Put it on your finger and just rub it around the top. It's not really required for these uh, former care rooms, but Every little helps, as they say in uh, Tesco land. Uh, here we've got a 10 mil syringe, and we're just adding uh, water into the uh, the chamber, which is not always easy. Uh, we are getting uh, smaller test tubes in um, in the coming weeks, um, but we will still be offering the, um, the blunt ended ones as well, because um, obviously we don't want small hands getting injected with needles so that's why they are just slightly larger than the hole uh, but a bit of wiggling around there we are uh, it takes about 10 mils of water to initially um, hydrate the chamber we will be doing smaller uh, test tubes as I said with a finer needle uh, which will be about 2 mil so they'll be great for just topping up the, um, the hydration chambers within these uh, so the species we're going to be adding uh, from memory, if I hurry up, I think I've gone to make a cup of tea there somewhere. Oh, here we are, we're back. We're not adding any ants at all at the moment. Uh, so we've got a bit of gravel. Um, you don't have to use um, anything in the outworld, but I think uh, it's always wise to pop a little bit of sand or something um, that will absorb any moisture because if you're adding little sticky treats in there um, then it will become quite messy after a while. You need the smallest amount. We do now sell bags uh, of different coloured sands on the website in very small quantities um, and lots of different colours. Um, I prefer to keep things fairly neutral so I've just gone for a, a very basic sand and again if anything gets stuck in that then we can just um, oik it out. So the species that we've got here is Formica fusca, um, wood ants. Uh, they are known for spraying formic acid. Um, I prefer to handle all the ants with gloves on. It's just a, it's just a thing I've kind of got used to, really. These are the landscape trays. These are the old versions, which are made of acrylic. Uh, we've now got these on the website in glass and they're a much more uh, sturdier, robust and cheaper because they're not made of acrylic. Again, just anti-slip with a very small paintbrush, very thinly applied to a very clean surface. Uh, when applying this stuff, small, small amounts, less is more and always a clean surface. And that applies to pretty much most of the um, anti-slip um, liquids that are on the market, uh, PTFE, talcum powder and all the other various things. When you start piling them up and or they're quite thick and pasty, they will um, form a hard surface and then the ants will get out. So always nice and clean and uh, less is more. Um, now some of the species, especially the wood ants, will come in moss. Um, as you see here I use a paintbrush and uh, it, it does take a while to get these little buggers out. If any do uh, escape, again you can see there's one running around the top there already, that they can't escape out of the tray that the um, formicarium sat in. So it's just a matter of dissecting this um, and with the paintbrush relocating any ants back into the formicarium. Generally I prefer not to um, forcibly put the ants into the formicariums but there's no way around this really you've got to be a bit brutal they're quite a hardy species so they can tolerate a bit of abuse um, this does take a considerable amount of time because even when you think you've got them all there's always another or there's a few pupae um, it's just taking your time um, I have cut about 35 minutes out of the middle of this video just to save you from going into a coma.
So here we have a finer tooth uh, toothbrush, brush, paintbrush. Um, I find the paintbrushes are very good rather than actually handling the, the ants. It's, um, it's softer. Sometimes for certain species you can actually um, kind of wiggle the paintbrush around in front of them and they'll grab hold of it. Um, I have found that um, the natural paintbrushes, which are more expensive, uh, tend to work better, especially when, when handling atta or leaf cutters. They tend to respond quite well to um, horsehair brushes and they're quite easy to pop, slide off the end and just pop them back in. The, um, the blue paintbrush that you may have seen a moment ago, I use that quite often to scoop up atters. And I can usually get about 20 or 30 if there's a, a mass escape, um, but thankfully that's rare. So there we are, we've cut about 35 minutes out of this. Um, that's the blue paintbrush there, we just give it a little brush so we can see what we're doing. It's kind of never ending this searching through the moss. So there we are, all done. So it's just a matter of cleaning up now. So it's been hydrated. We've put a bit of anti-slip, not that it's needed, um, but precautionary. Uh, we've put it on the inside, um, which is, I think, a good idea. Uh, if you put it on the outside, um, over time dust will accumulate on top of the formicarium and it just kind of beats the purpose of it, really. The formicarium is ready to be sat wherever. Uh, obviously out of direct sunlight. Uh, where we've popped it there wouldn't be its all, uh, ideal place because you can see there's a radiator behind there. It's just a matter of cleaning up. Um, we've got some acetate that we're going to cut and um, just shape to the size of the, the nest area which is towards the front uh, of the formicarium where the hydration chamber is. And we'll just put some red acetate over that. Just cut it with a pair of scissors. Uh, plonk it on top and it just provides a, a bit of darkness for the ants um, and that just helps them to increase uh, brood production. Uh, now they're fully settled in there we'll give them um, a bit of a treat with some, some jelly and a bit of protein, maybe uh, mealy worms cut in half or a, or a cricket um, and you'll find that at this time of the year the queens will respond quite well to that. Um, you'll no doubt see a fresh batch of eggs laid within days of, of, the, of the queen being offered up protein. So, thanks for joining.